Get a campfire started. We're making burger, steak, curry. First, let's make our patties. In a bowl goes ground beef, onions, grate them using a cheese grater, a little garlic, grate that too. Some breadcrumbs. I'm using panko because those are the only ones I keep around. Plain gelatin, which is weird, but uh, add it. It's going to make these extra juicy. You can leave it out though. And we're going to season it simply with pepper and a couple pinches of salt. Get in there and mix it good. Then, divide it into four or so equal patties. Form them into nice little ovals. Should be about a third of an inch thick, but don't stress too much about the size. Place them on a plate, and then make a dimple in the middle of them with your thumb. Alright, we can cook them now, but they'll be better if you place them in the fridge for at least an hour. After their stay in the fridge, brush them with a little bit of olive oil and season them with your favorite grill seasoning. This is going to give them a nice crust. Both sides. Alright, in the meantime, dice up a green onion. We're going to be using the greens and the whites, but keep both in separate bowls. To your onion whites, also add a little bit of garlic and ginger. All right, for the rest of the stuff, you'll also need butter, chicken broth, browning sauce, and of course, our curry dex roux. There's a link to the recipe to make one of these in the description. Have this all ready because we're going to build a fire and everything's going to be cooked pretty quickly. You can also make this stuff inside on your stove, but I figured I'd make this curry over a flame just like the in-game stuff. Stuff some paper into the bottom of a small chimney starter full of coals. Place some grill grates over the chimney starter. Now light it up. I'm going to use flamethrower, which is my welding torch, but you can just use a few matches. The trick to building a big fire is actually air. My Pidgeotto is out of commission, so I'm going to use this little pocket fan. Check out those flares. Hotter than a Charizard's booty. Once the coals are ashy, wipe down the grates with a paper towel dipped in oil. Now we can cook our birds. Two at a time. Two to five minutes each side. You just want to get a good char going. Like that. Ooh. Cook on the other side. All right, now my grill grate is pretty big, so I'm just going to park these patties to the side while I cook the rest. Once the other two are done, place them on the sides and park a heat-proof skillet on the fire. I like this cool carbon steel, but cast iron works too. After it's warmed up about for about a minute or two, add some butter and your aromatics. Cook these for about a minute or two. Then you can add your chicken broth and curry dex root. Once it gets hot, add your browning sauce. Once it's boiling, you can add your patties back. Cover and cook for another minute or two or until your patties are cooked through. Time to serve it up! In a plate with rice, place your sauce and your patties. Sprinkle with scallion greens. Now it's ready! Spicy! 
smoky curry burger steak curry is yummy now for the pinned comment of the week salem pickman says you literally don't know how to say Worcester sauce well i think that's rude because i can totally say it listen <clears throat> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire suede. Worcestershire. The British stuff. Liam Perrins. See? I told you I could say it. Suck it, haters. If you want to see your comment featured next week, simply drop it in one of my videos or feel free to email it to me at hammycooks at gmail.com like it's spelled right here. If you're looking for more Pokemon recipes, I've got tons in this playlist. Check them out. In the meantime, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a thing. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!